Somewhere under a lost and lonely hill of grim and foreboding aspect lies a labyrinthine crypt. It is filled with terrible traps and not a few strange and ferocious monsters to slay the unwary. It is filled with rich treasures, both precious and magical. But in addition to the aforementioned guardians, there is said to be a demi-lich who still wards his final haunt. Be warned, the tales have it that this being, called Aserak, possesses powers that make him nearly undefeatable. All accounts conclude that it is quite unlikely any explorers will ever find the chamber where the demi-lich lingers, for the passages and rooms of the tomb are fraught with traps, poison gases, and magical protections. Furthermore, the Demi-Lich has so well hidden his lair that even those who avoid the pitfalls will not be likely to locate their true goal. Only large and well-prepared parties of the bravest and strongest should even consider the attempt. And if such a group does locate the tomb, they must be prepared to fail. Any expedition must have magical protections and weapons, and must be equipped with every sort of device possible to ensure survival. You have arrived at the site of the Demi-Lich's last haunt. Before you is a low, flat-topped hill about 200 yards wide, 300 yards long, and 60 feet high. Only ugly weeds, thorns, and briars grow upon the steep sides and bald top of the mound. There are black rocks upon the top of the hill, and if these are viewed from a height of about 200 feet or so above the mound, it will be seen that the hole is shaped like a human skull, with piles of rock appearing as eye holes, a nose hole, and the jagged teeth of a grinning death's head. 